uh, proper sane conversation <laughs> with the rather lovely Mr Richard O'Brien and gorgeous Terry. Can I perch there, babe? Uh, you, you certainly can. Uh, I sh sh should say, uh, this geezer is the only person I know who's made a successful career out of being a failed baby murderer. I mean, what was it? You were losing the part of King Herod in Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh, yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, yeah I, did, I, I did. I was fired from that. that, that I was going to say, that was a very sophisticated game you were playing there. Wasn't what, it? Did you yeah. like it, Richard? Did I, you go left or right? Oh, I, I just, just thought the whole thing had kind of like <laughs> class written all over it. <laughs> a bit like the show, really, Richard. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> anyway, let's continue. What yeah, was your I was, question? I was, I was, no, I was, yes, I was fired from that show. I was, I was, actually, they let me go. That's a lovely mm -hmm. euphemism. Isn't it? That's an We're going to have to let you I'll get you back. Yeah. Is that what you thought? So, uh, so I went home and wrote Rocky Horror, which was the best thing. Uh, you know, letting me go was the best mm. thing they ever did. What, what, what did your mates think at the time when you when you said, "Well, I'm going to write this musical based on like you know horror films in Transylvania"? Did you not think, "Yeah, right, Richard, no, you're taking I, drugs yeah, again"? I, I, I think we always think that, don't we? Our peer group always think, you know, when you when you said you were going to be in television, they went, "Yeah, sure." They yeah, still I'm do, don't worry. <laughs> you beat no, me no, to that. They do, don't they? Like, I remember in the playground once, and a kid up up, up front in front of me. You know, we were about, both about nine at the time, and there's a queue going up to the classrooms, and this kid said. I'm going to be a film star when I grow up. And then the whole crowd went, whoa! <laughs> but of course, everybody in that queue went inside, went, me too. Didn't, yeah. uh, no, you know, everyone was going, yes, but we do. How dare he voice it, you know? That's the truth. See, you it? actually did sit down and write the Rocky Horror Show. Yeah. Was it as good on paper? I mean, it's a classic now. Did you look at it and think, this is really something? No, it's very difficult, really, to, to understand. Uh, it on on paper. In fact, when we were casting it, people had no idea. The casting director didn't know who to send along because they didn't actually know where it was coming from. Yeah. And you did really have to have a, a, an adolescent mind. You did actually have, have to understand comics. I think was important. Mm. And most grown-ups, of course, didn't. You know, they'd left all that behind. You know, they put away childish things. Whereas I've still clung on to the oh, childish things. In, in a way, <laughs> your career has been interesting because uh, you know, I mean, obviously you've been successful financially, but also you've never really been typecast. Whereas if maybe you'd been a good Herod, you might still be playing those sort of roles now. Uh, well, I'd be, I'd be waiting for the phone to ring. I think probably, <laughs> wouldn't I? You know, I, I, you know, I think basically I, because I went my own way and and marched, as they say, to the beat of my own drum. Mm. I've, I've, I, can, I can actually go and do anything now. This album I've got out, we're going to talk about my yeah, album. Absolutely yeah, well, 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 But this album, everyone that's heard it says... We were getting not, there. It's not what I expected. <laughs> and, I've said, and I've said to them, so what did you expect? And they go, uh, well, actually, we don't know. And I said, well, it, yeah. in that case, it's exactly what you expected. <laughs> it's unexpected, isn't it? What is it? Truth if you go truth. out... And if you go out and buy the album, what should you expect it's, on it? Uh, it's kind of apartment jazz, I call it. <laughs> I don't, uh, everybody wanted to know what it was, and I went, oh, it's apartment jazz. And it sort of had the uh, feeling of, of loft and windows open and New York and whatnot. Do your lads like it? That's what I want to know. Oh, yes, my son talked to me today, he says they're lovely songs. He's, he's only 15, and it's not his kind of music, I have to say, but he likes the songs. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's very sexy, very groovy. Oh, we like sexy and groovy, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> Well, uh, uh, this isn't going to be a song, actually, from your album, but no. it is one of your true classics. Ooh. We're going to wrap the show now, so thanks ever so much to all our guests, including Richard. With what? There's what only one song that we can play out with tonight, oh. and it is, of course, The Time Walk. Take it away, boys. Oh, no! <laughs>